ballot, and so I'd like to nominate Dick Nature to chair the meeting. Second. By, uh, could I have a second? Second. I'd like to have a vote of acclamation for Dick to be chairman. Aye. All in Aye. favor? Aye. 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 Okay, thank you. And I'd like, that's uh, Suzanne Stimson. <laughs> and I would, I would also like a vote of acclamation for Leslie Ott and Mary Jo McMahon to be clerks. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Do oh, I need a second? A second. Second. For, okay. Second. Another vote of acclamation, please. Aye. Okay. Opposed? Thank you very much. I'm going to turn the meeting over to Dick Natra. And uh, he will, there have been some rule change. He will explain to you how this process will work. Thank you all for coming. Yeah. Thank you, Larry. Thank you all. Uh, classic example of how a town is run by the people, for the people, and of the people. The procedures that we'll be following today, I'll go through them briefly and the highlights, and if there are <coughs> exceptions that come up along the way, I'll explain it. Only an elector, which is a property owner within the township, is able to nominate a candidate or vote for a candidate. You do not have to be a registered voter, but you do have to be a resident of the town of Palmyra for at least the past 28 days, be a U.S. citizen, and be of the age of 18. So those are the people that can vote. I think you're all pretty good shape age-wise. <laughs> uh, the, the caucus has been duly uh, uh, publicized and notices have been given. Um, a candidate can be nominated uh, as a resident of the township. A candidate does not have to be a resident to be nominated, but they do have to become a resident by the time they're elected. So a non-resident could be nominated, but they have to be in the town of Palmyra by the time they're elected and take office. Nominations are made separately for each office. We've got three offices that are up. They, wrote, they come up every two years. The, the terms are two years. So we've got the town chairman. We've got supervisor one. That seat is currently held by Winona Bradson. We've got supervisor two, and that's the seat that I currently hold. We'll hold those seats until the election and the newly elected people are installed. Uh, again, anybody can nominate. I will ask for nominations as we go. Each nomination has to have a second. So uh, when a person is nominated, I'll ask them to stand and give their name and their address. And that's all. Uh, this is not a forum for campaigning or speeches and so forth. It is strictly for nominations. And Laura will record who made the nomination and who seconded it, and we'll take each office uh, individually. Uh, for uh, If there are only two nominations for a particular office, those people, we do not take, need to take a vote on that. Those people will automatically go on to the April ballot. If there are more than two nominees for an office, then we take a paper ballot and the two with the highest number of votes uh, will proceed to the April election ballot. Uh, if there's a tie, we'll deal with that. Uh, we can do it. Uh, what I would suggest we do is take another vote to break the tie, and if it's still tied, then we go to what is called drawing by lot. We'll cut a deck of cards, my card wins. <laughs> that's, that's, those are the rules. Uh, that all has to do with the tie. Those people that are nominated do have to fill out a couple of pieces of paper. Laura has got those ready. They have to be returned to the clerk within five days. So if you are nominated, get those papers filled out right away and return to Laura. You can actually do that right here. It's pretty straightforward and pretty quick. Uh, Any questions on the procedures? 
No, no. No questions? <laughs> well, good. What kind of vote would it be, Dick? Pardon me? Vote? What kind of vote? Hand vote or ballot? If we have more than two candidates right. for uh, a particular position, it will be a paper ballot. That's why we elected counters or tellers, they're called. Uh, if they're just two for a position, then we don't have to have a vote. They automatically go on to the April ballot. Thank you. Any other questions? I want to Oh, sorry. Yes. So before you started, Larry had made some nominations. They are already on the ballot? No. No, the nominations that Larry made were just for me to chair this meeting. It has to be elected. And then for Mary Jo and Leslie to be counters or tellers. So we're not running for office. So those people he nominated was second, so they're not on the ballot? No. Okay. No. Thank you. No. We're just handling the meeting. Okay. Thank Nominations for town chairman. For town chairman. Nominations are open. What on? We nominate Larry Paul. Is there a second? It's been moved and seconded. Who was the second? Right here. Okay. You know who that is? What's your name? Bob Kevin. Okay. It's been moved and seconded. Larry, stand up and give your address. Where are you? I'm over here. Oh. <laughs> my name's Larry Goff. My address is N2316 Marion Road. My postal route is Jefferson 53549. Thank you, Larry. Other nominations for the position of town chairman? Yes. I nominate Graham Slaughter. Second. I didn't pass my penman show. <laughs> uh, do you have the? Yep, it was late, okay. right? Good. Yep. Any other nominations from the floor for town chairman? Any other nominations for town chairman? If so, I declare nominations closed, and Larry Cow and Frank Sauter will be placed on the April election ballot. Thank you both for agreeing to serve. Doesn't Frank have to stand up? Shouldn't Frank stand up there wondering? Yeah, Frank. Let's just stand up and give us your address. Frank Sauter, N 1405, Highway 106. Nominations are now open for Supervisor 1. Supervisor 1. Nominations are open. Winona? I would nominate Bonnie Wilson. I second it. Moved and seconded for Bonnie Wilson. Bonnie, would you stand? Give us your name and address. I'm Bonnie Wilson with Wells and Wilson. <laughs> and it's W1269 State Road 59. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you. Other nominations, Blake? I'll nominate Rob Martin. Second. I missed the second. What's the name? William Wayne. Rob? Right here. There we go, Jesus. Other nominations for the position of Supervisor 1? Any other nominations for Supervisor 1? Dick, I'm withdrawn. That is acceptable according to the rules. 
candidate may withdraw before our vote is taken. Any other nominations for Supervisor 1? If not, I declare nominations closed and Rob will be placed on the April ballot. Thank you for agreeing to serve, Rob. Yep. Nominations from the floor are now open for the position of Supervisor 2. Supervisor 2. <coughs> for Supervisor 2. Lucas, Stan, give us your name and address. Uh, Lucas Palmeyer, W13202, Salisbury Drive, Palmeyer, Wisconsin. Thank you. We need a second, and then who made the nomination? I'll second, I'll second it. Amelia? Yes. You have a second. Any other nominations from the floor for Supervisor? <coughs> I nominate Jessica Yesby. for Supervisor 2. Any other nominations for Supervisor 2? If not, I declare nominations closed and we will proceed to a paper ballot. Here are the names. You may vote for one as there is only one position open. And again, the two highest vote getters will be placed on the ballot. And if we do have a tie, I'll explain how we deal with that. Okay. Paper ballot. To make, to make things easy, to make things Pass them down. Do you have, if you don't have a pen, let please, me know. Please, 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 please. To make things easy, you can just put down the first name of that candidate. Pass them down. Either Bonnie, Pardon me. Lucas, or Josh. Pass them down. Does anybody need a pen? Raise your hand. Here you go here. Dick. 